Safety is everyone's business. We can all stay out of harm's way just by following a few simple rules. When you're out in public, always check to make sure no spies are following you. If you find a spider on your shirt, roll, roll on the ground. Spiders are icky. And if you lose a pants leg, call home right away so your friends won't beat you up for looking like a dork. Don't let your parents drive backwards in the rain. It's just not safe. If dad needs to take a nap, tell him to do it in a bed. That's what they're made for. And never, ever let your dog drive the car. Can you imagine a world without dirt? It seems like dirt is everywhere. Chances are there's dirt somewhere underneath you right now. Many things grow in dirt, like carrots. Carrots are good to eat, but you should never eat dirt. It doesn't taste very good and you might get dirt on your uvula. Dirt is dirty, so if it gets on you, wash it off right away. Rocks are dirty because they're found in the dirt and they have dirt on them. Some people like to study rocks, whatever. But where does dirt come from? Scientists have been trying to answer this question for thousands of years. Most researchers now believe that dirt is actually nothing more than dried up mud. When mud dries up, it becomes dirt. And when dirt gets wet, it becomes mud again. So which came first, dirt or mud? You might as well ask which came first, water or ice cubes. It remains one of the mysteries of the universe. We use our teeth every day to smile and to bite things. But what happens if we neglect our teeth? They might wind up looking like this, or this, or this. Ugh. So how can we keep our teeth healthy and clean? First of all, visit your dentist every day and bring along a friend to watch. Also, when you eat cake, chew with your mouth closed. Don't be a pig. When you eat stinky food, hold your nose. And don't eat too many sugar cubes either. It's also a good idea to check your teeth in a mirror every five minutes or so just to make sure they're still there. And most importantly, learn the proper way to brush. A lot of kids try to brush their teeth without actually putting the toothbrush inside their mouths, like these kids. Silly. Brushing your cheek doesn't do any good. You've got to take your teeth out of your mouth first and then brush them. So remember, brush. Brush as if your life depended on it. Be nice to your teeth, or else you'll have to eat everything through a straw. What are manners? Manners are the rules we all live by that keep us from beating the living daylights out of each other. When Mary goes over to visit her friend Sally, and Sally tells her that she smells funny, that's not very good manners, is it? No, and it's liable to hurt her feelings, too. What would a polite host do? A polite host wears a sweater identical to the one his friend is wearing. That makes his guest feel at ease. What other ways can we be courteous? Well, when you attend a school assembly and you have to sit through a boring puppet show, don't talk, don't say a word. Just act like it's the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. Then get up and leave quickly before they do an encore. When eating in restaurants, remember, the left fork is for the salad, the middle fork is for the main course, and the last fork is for defending yourself against rabid wolverines. And most importantly, always remember those three magic words. Please, thanks, and uvula. Try repeating these helpful phrases after me. Please move, you're standing on my neck. Thanks so much for the giant bag of goat droppings. My, but you have a lovely uvula. I hope these little handy hints will help you to mind your manners. <laughs>